I feel led to share this testimony and I don't want to hold back. Now listen to me. Sometimes you have to fall off to fall in place. Sometimes you have to fall off to fall in place. This is my testimony. This is my experience. You see, before I got saved, I fell on my face. I want me to say I fell on my face, I fall flat on my face. And I can remember on Sundays, you know, at the time I was in a relationship with a woman, everything was going good. The high life, the hype life, partying every week, the money, the food, we were comfortable. You know, we were comfortable, but I could remember on Sundays I would normally listen to this song. And the words of the song says, Lord, if I'm too high, take me down. If I'm too high, take me down. I, I can remember so vividly I would listen to that song on Sundays. I would sing it word for word and I would just cry. I would just cry. I would just cry. And people are going to let me tell you something. God took me down. And you may ask the question, oh, you know you was down. You see, when you're down, God have a way to bring some things to your memory. When you're down in that rut, God have a way to bring some things to your memory. I want to sit down, people. I was at a point I couldn't pay my rent. Oh, months and months and months of rent. I couldn't pay my light bill. I couldn't pay my water. My light cut off. My water cut off. My internet cut off. My barely can't find food. It came to a point where I had to go back to live with mommy who didn't even have enough for me to come back into her home. to say this to you, I'm not perfect. I did a lot of bad things in life and I did a lot of things that were wrong in life. But the character of my friends showed and was exposed when I had nothing. I found myself not have nothing and not have nobody. And I'm talking about people that I would cross oceans for that didn't even dump a puddle for me. Nothing. Nobody. You know what's worse? The slander. Oh, she. Go queen. Broke her hungry. I pan. Flapper. I pan. This are I pan. That. And the slander came. And the discrimination came. Oh, she no look good in a person. She cry and she look good in a clothes. Me hear this and me hear that time. going through dated another woman and every day she would remind me you know she say you're cruff you're cruff in every day you come round here so pankana smoke with one bag of batty man you're cruff yet still every night she would have come home come sleep with the cough and she remind me every day and I come to know you know she say you're all cruff your life done you have to look for your age eh Look for your age. Your life done right as they are cruff and she remind me. And she remind me. And she remind me. Make my heart to the Lord and remember again another ex-girlfriend of mine just said to me. I give her money. Make you go up an embassy and try to go for it. Because you see, the Christian thing then. I said, go in here and come out. You're not going to make it tonight. I said this to say that sometimes when I understand the journey we can allow we to go upon. Sometimes we don't know we got up to. We cast down people and we write them off. I wanna know what tomorrow may bring. You see, all things work together for good. All things work together for good. And I just want to encourage some. You know, sometimes we find ourselves in a situation, you know. Sometimes God has to make us fall so hard. So we know who is God. You must make us fall so hard. We make us see ourselves. You must make us fall so hard to give us wisdom. So if we never go through the betrayal, if we never go through the discrimination, if we 
never have people talk down upon me and look down upon me. She's no queen. She this, she that. We never have that. We don't think we are so wise today. Sometimes God make we fall hard so we can become wise. And through this story, when I drive a to him, God broke my heart to save my soul. He did. He broke my heart. Because the thought, you know, I was thinking about it earlier and I shed tears. Not because I'm still hurt, but because I'm thankful. I'm thankful for everything that happened. God broke my heart to save my soul. He put me down to give me wisdom. He broke my heart to bring me to prep. I fall. I fall. With all gone, they will class it, they will chat it, they will bring it up. Mark you, I am not where I want to be, but I'm not where I used to be. A lot of people already eat them word and God just a blow upon me. Remember, not, God not showing me yet, you know, it just blow upon me. And so many people has, have ate the words. God brought this heart to save my soul. God brought my heart to save my soul. So even when the chatter did come in, so she can't keep nobody, she can't keep no relationship, she this, she that, them left far for dead, them this, they, it's like, God broke my heart to save my soul. And he continued to break my heart to save my soul because even though I was going through, I still was holding on to a crown that was slowly killing me. But God broke my heart over and over over again to save my soul. If you find yourself in a, some situation like this, it's not to kill you. There's still purpose. There's still purpose. God still know the plans that he has for you. Me never know me could, I, 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 back then when them I tell me, say me a cross and me fall off, me never know I would have been this person today. Me never know God would have restored me to this point today. Me never know God would have fixed me up and set me up for greatness today. Me never know I could be this person. Never know. But God breaks hearts to save soul. And if I'm you by all means necessary, I'm going to get you. So I don't live a life of regret and I don't blame people or anything like that. Mm -mm. I don't even judge anybody and them lifestyle and I'm not the one to go around and say stop living the way you do and stop doing the things you do. I speak the truth of God and that's it. But let me tell you something. I pray for people to have an encounter because it's an encounter from God that changed me. And let me tell you something. God is awesome. God is awesome. I stop regretting things. My lack of bitterness, my forgive, my forgive, because today I celebrate. I walked away. The lifestyle I used to live, I celebrate. I walked away. Somebody may be slowly dying. Some people don't need a gun or a knife to kill you. Just the words and just how they treat you. It slowly kills you. But like me. Celebrate it. I celebrate.